Hey, how you doing? Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the project browser and how to organize it with a hierarchy of folders, let's say, and, and drop down menus for taking your 10 million views and putting them into a system where you can you can organize them and, and view them and, and so on. Okay. All right. I'm going to do it with project browsers, uh, sorry, project parameters. Uh, if you want to use a shared parameter, uh, that's useful for a bunch of reasons, but just go and look at the shared parameters video first, and then go and look at this one, okay? So I'm just going to go from project uh, parameters. So in the manage tab, I'm going to add, let's say, two parameters to our views, okay? So if you click on one of your views here, let's say like level one, uh, we have all these different instance parameters in the view, and we have type parameters in here. What we're going to do is we're going to add two more instance parameters so that we can use those parameters to organize the hierarchy of our uh, project browser, okay? Okay, first thing, manage tab, project parameters, and new, okay? New parameter. Let's call this one uh, view category. Okay, and we leave it as an instance parameter and a project parameter. Uh, it's text, uh, text, 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 where is that? It's at the top. And we'll group it under, uh, I guess, identity data, okay? Now, we need to classify the category, which is views. Right, all the way down to V, views, okay? So project parameter, view category, instance parameter, data type text, you can leave discipline as common. Uh, I'm, I'm going to group it under uh, identity data that makes sense to me but it's not necessarily necessary okay and okay uh no okay so we've got view category now let's create a new one new parameter uh we're going to call this one sub uh subcategory And again, views and data type is text and group it under same thing, identity data. I want them beside each other so they're quick and easy to find. Okay, instance, fine. Project parameter, fine. Common text, identity data, fine. Okay. Okay. And okay. All right. So if I grab it, if I select a view there, you'll see now down under identity data, we have subcategory and view category. Okay. Right, so what we want to do is organize this browser by those parameters. So I'm going to go into, oh, do you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to change one thing. So by default, Revit will uh, organize new views. So if you create a new uh, plan view from your view tab uh, or drafting view or whatever, it's going to, uh, or section even, it'll go into the coordination discipline, okay? So the highest level of this, uh, this uh, organization we're going to use is the discipline. And we're going to use, uh, we're using the discipline of architecture, okay? So in file, options, you see here, it's a default view discipline is coordination. I'm just going to change that to architectural. If structure applies to you, obviously do that. Okay, so when I create a new view, it'll go under the discipline of architecture. Okay, now, so right click on my project browser top there and go to browser organization. I'm going to create a new uh, organization scheme. Okay, I call it uh, my, my browser. And okay. Now, I'm not going to bother with filtering. Now, you may want to do that. Maybe we'll look at that at a later time. But uh, if you want to filter your project browser because you have a lot of information, this is a big project or whatever, you can do that. But I'm not going to look at that now. What I'm just going to do is the grouping and sorting, uh, the organization of the views in the, in the hierarchy of folders, okay? So first, we're going to group by, as I tell, told you already, is discipline, okay? So architecture. Uh, next, I'm going to group by... Uh, View, sorry, uh, what was it? View category, where it's gone? View category, there it is. And next level down will be subcategory. And then below that, I'm going to just put in family. So it separates them into uh, plans and elevations and sections and so on, right? And that's it. I'll leave it ascending. That's fine. Uh, watch the uh, project browser here. And I'll just apply my browser and OK. All right. So you, now we've got architecture at the top, so that's the discipline. And we've got, these aren't assigned yet. That's the view category. 
and that one's a subcategory. Now you can call those whatever you want, right? I just give you those names, category and subcategory. So we have our floor plans, ceiling plans, 3D and elevations, okay? Now, if I was to, let's say, duplicate, actually, let's see if we can duplicate more than one at a time. I haven't tried that before, I can't, no. Uh, zero, duplicate view, uh, one duplicate view, right, duplicate view. So I'm right clicking on them and duplicating, okay? Duplicate, uh, duplicate, I'm gonna skip 3D, duplicate, 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 and one last one, duplicate. All right, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick all the ones with the with that don't have the copy beside them, the original ones, okay? Site, uh, uh, level zero, zero, level one, I'll include 3D and east, north, south, west, okay? And I'm gonna assign uh, view category and subcategory. So I'm gonna call these guys my work in progress view. So I'm gonna start with a number again so that it organizes the way I want it to. So I'm gonna go zero one underscore WIP, work in progress, and apply. Okay, so we have this folder now, work in progress. We didn't uh, assign the, the, uh, the subcategory though. That could be anything from construction details to whatever you want. Maybe just for now, I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to just assign that as a phase, okay? So I'm going to call it new construction, okay? Uh, so I'll select all those views again. And in subcategory, I'll call it new construction. So we could have another batch with phasing for existing. Okay, new construction. All right, so we've got work in progress, new construction, floor plans, See the hierarchy of views breaking down and um, for these guys they're not assigned yet let's just select all of these and call them uh let me see view category uh zero two underscore planning bye and while they're still selected i'll just i'll assign that same one for new construction <clears throat> so you see we have Architectural discipline, we have work in progress views and we have planning views, see? And they're all there. Now, obviously you should go and name those. Maybe the work in progress ones, you can put a little bracket WIP after the name or something, uh, but don't override the level name. And that's the guts of it, okay? So you can go into any amount of detail on that and levels and uh, of hierarchy and so on that you want, but that's the principle and that's how it works, okay? Listen, I hope you found that useful. And if you did, you know, click the like button and let me know you send a comment and share it around and all that stuff okay and as usual if you haven't already click the button okay subscribe thanks